All right, uh, so if you could just give me your, your recap of that one. Uh, tough uh, end of the second there, uh, banging away that tying goal. Yeah, that's that's a huge momentum swing for us. I mean, uh, they got one to start the game and got the momentum, and obviously that goal at the end of the second period kind of thought it was the mo change for us. I thought we were pretty good in the third, and you know, I think I was shooting them 12-6, to six, hoping to get a game winner there, but didn't. So it's, it's uh, that was a really good call hockey game, run and gun. That's how... Mercyhurst likes to play, and I thought we went with him toe for toe, toe to toe. Yeah, Coach, can you talk about scoring at the end of the second there uh, specifically? I remember against Canisius, you said if you guys would have held that that goal there, you thought that the game would have changed. And same thing here, just that late goal. Yeah, no question. You, you know, you want to come into every break. Uh, you know, one of our team goals is to win the first two, last two minutes of every period, and you know, to come in the period, come in after the second period with that huge goal, you could just feel the energy in the locker room. I thought they brought that out in the third. And Johnny, I actually thought you scored that that goal. I know you were out there, but uh, you, you did get another one. But before you get to your goal, can you just talk about that that second goal, that trying goal there? Um, I think uh, the D uh, tried to force up the wall, and I, I don't know who was there. It might have been Tanner or Alonso, and then uh, ended up in front of the net and uh, blew with a lot of effort and uh, was able to whack it in. And, and then can you just transfer over to your goal there? Uh, sort of a, from at least my angle, it's sort of like a floater, and you just picked a corner through traffic. <laughs> yeah, it had eyes. I think I uh, faked the cycle to the D. And then I found my way to the slot, and I just uh, threw it on that, and I think it was uh, a wobbly one. Yeah, and I thought your line stood out uh, above all the others tonight. Just talk about your line mates tonight. I thought you guys had some good chemistry going. Yeah, we're starting to uh, play well together. I think uh, with the puck, we're, we're pretty good. I think we got to manage it a little bit better, but I think it was a pretty good match. And, and Coach, um, can you uh, also comment on uh, uh, Johnny's line? Uh, I thought that line, like I said, uh, had a lot of chemistry tonight. Yeah, I mean, TJ's been doing a great job for us in a lot of areas. It might not show on the... Uh, you know, on the points side of things, but you know, winning face off is penalty kill. And again, you know, offensively, their line was a factor all night. You know, we 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 went down to two lines in overtime for the most part and kept putting them out there because they were. Uh, I thought they were, you know, really good for us offensively. And obviously, he's you know, Johnny's doing what he's doing. It, it didn't take him ten games to, to figure it out, but he you know he's he, you know he had our fans on the edge of their seats all night. I thought. And how about Jackson tonight, Coach? I thought early he really weathered the storm for you guys. He did, really solid. I mean, we didn't have a great start to the game. I don't have a reason for that. You know, the first two minutes we didn't touch the puck, took the penalty, and they scored. Um, but, yeah, he was solid. That was a heck of a goalie duel. Both goaltenders were terrific, and I, I think they were both game stars. And then Johnny's in here. So, uh, you know, I thought that was a great job. And, and Coach, uh, not to be the bearer of bad news, but AIC did win tonight. They did upset RIT. So just your thoughts on that. Uh, you guys had a tough tough battle for a tie here tonight, but unfortunately they, they'll, they'll leap you. Yeah, that, yeah it's, um, you know, I think we still might have a game in hand on them. But, um, yeah, we just have to worry. You know, we're, we're on a nice little streak here. It's three in a row without a loss. And, we'll, you know, it's obviously going to be a tough billing tomorrow night the way Mercier's played. And we'll, we'll be up for the challenge and try to keep pace.